Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do this look for you. Um, it's been a while. I kind of got a little triggered, honestly, by my last video and the amount of like hate and stuff I got on it. And I was just like super, like, I guess defeated. Like I didn't want to do another video for a while. It was just like, I don't know, it was a lot. Like the amount of like hundreds of really terrible comments I got. It was just a little much. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a while now, so like I've gotten a lot of mean comments before, but it was just sort of a lot all at once. And I don't know, it felt unwarranted and it was sort of like this weird, I don't know, this weird thing. And it was so much drama. So I was like, kind of took a step back. because so I was like, this is too much. Like this is like, I'm, I'm doing videos like to be helpful, trying to be helpful, you know, like showing off products, showing you like how I feel and talking about like features and stuff and to get so much like hate like that, it was just like too much. So yeah, I took a little time away, but um, now I'm back to film this video for you. I wanted to do something kind of like, I don't know. I was just like inspired by something I saw yesterday that um, Nikki Tutorials did a video with um, Lady Gaga's makeup artist and I love the shape she made. So I wanted to do that kind of shape today and I knew I wanted to do a video, but I really want to do something brown, like bronzy kind of like smoky, sexy, you know, that whole thing. So yeah, this is the look I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see how I got the look and what products you use, then um, please keep on watching. So first I'm gonna take this pencil, this MAC Technical pencil. And it's like a really dark, cool tone brown. And I'm gonna start creating like a little like wing. I'm only going like halfway across here. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull that up and out, but keep it pretty thin. I know like in the past when I've done looks like this, I tend to create like a little wedge kind of shape. I'm not doing that, like it's gonna be a similar shape, but it's not gonna be like a filled in shape, if that makes sense. So I'm just creating myself like a nice thick line here. And then I'm gonna take this Morphe E36, which has become my absolute favorite little kind of buffy, small little pencil brush. It is so good. And you're gonna start buffing this in so that it just looks a little bit softer. And then I'm gonna go in my pencil again and then start to pull this into the crease. And we're just making ourselves a little line to hook up with this line out here. And then, then I'm just taking that in the crease. I'd say just about like halfway or so. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'm gonna go in my pencil brush again and just lightly buff that in and then I'm like lightly pulling it across the crease a little more so that it sort of like fades in because I didn't want like a strong line all the way to the inner corner. And then very lightly with like super light pressure, I'm like pulling that out to get a super like kind of faded look where that kind of just fades into nothing. Okay, so now that we have our shape going here, I'm gonna jump into this palette here. So first I'm gonna take the shade Alexander. Um, this palette is very warm toned, but this is more of the, mm, I'd say more of the most neutrally, or one of the most neutral shades. And it's like a light brown. And just using this brush right here, this is a Morphe JH30. I am just buffing that all over the lid on top of our base here and then lightly buffing that into the crease, into my eyebrow like I usually do, and then very lightly pulling it out here. And then I'm gonna go in with this M507 from Morphe and the shade Knox, which is a deeper version of the last shade. Again, a little more neutral, like it's still gonna be kind of warm, but it's just a little more neutral than some of the other ones in the palette that are like really orange or really kind of like a yellowy mustardy color. And I'm just taking this color and putting this on top of the liner and then really lightly kind of buffing it into the lid. I'm not pulling it like really on the lid. I'm just buffing it so it fades really nicely. And that's gonna go all over the liner we put down. So towards the lash line and then pulled up into the outer corner and the crease and then pull that across the crease as well 
going on top of the liner again. And this has become my favorite brush um, because it's like the perfect little blending brush. This one in the M506, which is the M506 is just a little bit, the tiniest bit fluffier. This one has a little bit more of a point to it. Um, both of these brushes are like my new obsession, especially when I'm wanting to do that like very in trend now in makeup where everything is like super intense and blended and you can like pack on color with this and then just like do the tiniest little blending so colors like really intense if that makes sense so then i'm gonna go in with the shade daniel which is the deepest brown in this palette and i'm just gonna go a little closer to the lash line with this shade and keep buffing that and just to deepen up the look a little more making sure I continue to kind of like blend outward so everything is fading really nice and this look is going to give you this very like elongated feel to your eye like it makes my eyelid space and everything look bigger and it makes my eyes look really long which is I love that and it's kind of like if you see I'm going a little lower than my natural kind of eye shape and that again is giving that appearance of a much more intense and elongated eye. Okay, so now that we have that all done, I'm just gonna make sure this is all really buff. So now I'm gonna go into the Morphe James Charles palette and I'm gonna take Spooky, which is the black, just the tiniest little bit because I just wanna really lightly intensify right there by the lash line. So I'm only taking the littlest bit because I just wanna make sure um, I have a really nice amount of kind of depth right here in the corner. All right, and now we're gonna do our lower lash line. So I'm taking that MAC pencil again, and I'm running that on my waterline, and then also slightly underneath the lash line. So I'm taking my E36 again, just to buff that out. I am telling you guys, you need this little brush. It is so good. So good. So what is that? Can't talk. Once that's buffed out, I'm gonna go back with the shade Knox and using my M507, I'm just going to blend that on top of the liner. And I'm trying to keep it pretty close. This isn't the kind of look where I'm really pulling the colors really far down like I do sometimes. And then I'm gonna go back in with the shade Alexander, which is the lightest one we used and just really lightly buff on top. I'm gonna go in with our deepest brown, which is Daniel, and then pulling my eye down just the tiniest bit, I'm gonna smudge that really close to the lashes, but also onto the waterline. Now, I am the kind of person that I like to set my waterline with powder. Um, it's definitely not for everybody. Some people's eyes are a little sensitive to do that, but I just feel like it makes my um, waterline stand like all day long. All right, and then we're gonna take the tiniest bit of Spooky, the black color from the James Charles palette, and just get that right there on the outer part to make sure that it's kind of like really flowing really well from the top to the bottom where we have the black on the top. And I'm gonna go one more time with my little blender just to make sure this whole area is nice and soft. So for a pop, I'm gonna start with MAC Beam Time Dazzle Shadow Liquid, literally obsessed with this color, and using a Morphe 124, M124, I'm going to take a very small amount of this and just dab this on the inner half of the lid. And this is just gonna give our lid some dimension. And then I'm gonna take the Tarte one, and this is the shade Night Dive. This color, that guys, I mean like, it's just so good, it's so good. It is beautiful, it's a very interesting color. It's like a champagne, but it's got multicolored reflex, so it's kind of like a greeny, pinky, kind of weird duochrome to it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, and then that's what I'm gonna use on my inner corner. Okay, so once everything is super blended, we're gonna put on lashes really quick. For my lashes, I'm gonna use the Morphe Premium Lashes in the style Hypnotic, 
which are easily my favorite lashes right now. They look so wispy and like fluffy and it's like a great balance of being like wispy and light while also being dramatic and they're very like multi-layered. I don't know if you can see that. So there's just like, there's so much dimension to them. There's so much going on. So love these. I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna put on my mascara, the MAC in Extreme Dimension Lash and then I've been really loving the duo black, the dark tone duo to put lashes on. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back and we will finish the rest of the makeup. So to start out my skin, I'm gonna prep with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Champagne Pop. I love this stuff. I use this, a lot of people have been asking me lately on my Instagram because I've been posting a lot more like weddings and stuff. Um, I use this on all of my freelance clients. So if I ever do like wedding or an event makeup or whatever, I always use this to prime the skin. I'm then going to take my bite lip mask and just put a little of that on because my lips are kind of dry. And I'm gonna let that sink in while I'm doing my foundation and everything. So for my foundation today, I'm going to use the Revolution, Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Foundation. All right, I'm gonna use my um, JH03 brush to blend that in. Now that I have that on, I'm gonna use concealer and I'm just gonna use the same one I use as my um, eye base today, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I'm obsessed with. Such a good concealer. Maybelline, you know, face products are always really great. Like they do such a great job for being such like a low price point. All their face products I really, really enjoy. I wanted to use a sponge, but I don't have one that's not a hot mess. So I'm gonna use this uh, Morphe M536. I don't like blending in my concealer with a brush. I really prefer to use a sponge, so I kind of hate that I have to do this, but I don't have a, like a nice clean sponge around me. So, we'll make it work. I just feel like when I do it with a sponge, I get such a more like flawless, natural look. I don't know, I feel like brushes now, no matter what brush I use, it just makes it look more dry and makeup-y. I don't know. And then I'm going to set my face, and today I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Today I'm using the shade 10, which isn't the lightest shade. I usually use the lightest shade. Should I use the lightest shade? Oh, I'm gonna use the lightest shade. Yeah, I'm gonna use the shade 5, which is the lightest one for my under eye at least to kind of set everything and make it look nice and highlighted. I'm using the Jeffree Star Morphe Sponge. Um, this one I have, I've used mostly with powder, so that's why I'm using it and didn't use it for my concealer because it's got lots of powder on it. But anyways, I love this powder so much. I actually just started transitioning this into my freelance kit um, because it just looks so bomb and like smooth and it like, I don't know, it just looks amazing like in pictures and everything in person. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder in the shade 110, and then just very lightly, super, super lightly, apply this all over to set the rest of my face. Um, this is a full coverage powder, so like I said, I'm going really light with it. I don't need like a ton. For bronzer today, I'm using a new bronzer I've gotten recently, which is the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic, because this is apparently, everyone loves this, and I saw it a million times before, and then I finally, like it was finally in stock at my Sephora, so I was like, well, I kind of have to now, because, I mean, they have it, so, okay. And now that that's done, I'm gonna contour my nose with the same powder. And I actually finally found a brush that works for me. I hate contouring my nose, I'm not good at it. Um, but this brush actually works really well. And this is the uh, Morphe R11. All right, so for blush, I'm gonna use my new Kylie blush in the shade Kitten Baby. And these blushes for me have been like, I, like they've been okay, like, um, I don't know, compared to some other formulas, I definitely have to like build this up a million times. And um, they're a little just like powdery, kind of powdery, kind of sheer. So for highlight, 
was gonna use my Amrezy highlight, but I'm not going to because I feel like I always use that. I'm actually gonna use the Morphe highlighter in the shade Spark. This one's pretty nice. And it's like a nice golden, you know, not too light, not too dark, kind of golden highlight color. I'm gonna do my brows really quick and my hair, because my hair is kind of just in a messy mess, so I'm gonna do my hair really quick. And then I am going to come back and we'll do the lip and finish off the look. Now I'm gonna do a lip and I wanna do something kind of like brown and um, glossy. So I'm gonna start off with the MAC lip pencil in the shade Strip Down. And then I'm using the MAC lipstick in the shade Blankety, which is like my favorite nude lipstick ever. And then I'm gonna use this new gloss I just got, which is the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Very Go Lightly. It's like a champagne glitter. I don't really like lip gloss, so I'm just gonna do a little bit. All right guys, so that is the finished look. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you next time. Bye.